there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekly love reading for this week of February 26th to March 3rd. Time is fluid. Stick around towards the end, Leo. I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards you for the week. So, Let's get started into it and see what's going on here in your energy, what's coming your way. So you do have a flipper coming in with recognition. So it looks like you are going to be receiving a lot of attention from someone this week. Let's see what else you got going on. This is for Leo, please. Wow. All right. So you have recognition with offer. Okay, and contemplation. All right, so a offer is coming in, Leo. And with contemplation here, it looks like you are not jumping for this offer per se. You are thinking about it or you are feeling guided to contemplate the offer. So the fact that you have recognition, offer, and contemplation, very straightforward. It looks like you are going to be receiving a lot more of attention from someone or just attention from someone in general. It looks like they have something that they want to offer you here. We will get more cards out and see exactly what their offer is. Um, but the fact that you have contemplation here is showing me that your energy is definitely not moving quickly. You are thinking about things. You are weighing your possible options. And it doesn't mean that you have options. Some of you, yes. Some of you, no. Some of you could just be weighing your options. And if, do you want love? Do you want to stay by yourself for right now? So let's see what else you got going on here. We have ready for love. Well, this person's ready for you, Leo. For sure. They're ready to give you attention. They're ready to give you their time. They're ready to show you that they're interested in you. There's also, also an emphasis on the letter R. R could mean something for you. We also have attraction and quality time. All right, so it looks like this person's offer is to hang out with you. Um, this person's offer is to see you in the physical. So... You may be contemplating because of a schedule situation. Possibly you're busy. There could also be an indication where you're just thinking about it. Do you want to give your time, effort, and physical entity to another? Um, but it definitely looks like there is someone highly interested in you here, Leo. And they want to spend more time with you or they just want to spend time with you in general. But you're thinking about it for some reason. For some reason, but we do have clarification on exactly what their offer is, and their offer is to spend more time with you in the physical. So if you are in a relationship and you two have not been spending much time with each other, your person may definitely give an offer or an idea of what you two can do to be around each other more. That could have been a problem. Whoa. That could have been a problem, um, and the cars just flew, so definitely could have been an issue in some of yours relationship where you didn't feel like your person was spending time with you, per se. Others of you, very general, very plain and simple. You have somebody here. They could be past. They could be new. They could be current. They want to spend more time with you this week here, Leo. Let's see what your tarot theme cards are. So let's see. First card out is, there it is, Strengthening Bonds with the Ace of Pentacles. So this is strong physical energy and strong indication of an offer coming in. So I definitely feel like somebody either wants to like take you out on a date, hang out with you, plan something. Um, could also be an indication of a offer of commitment, somebody finally ready to commit or at least give more to a connection. Let's see. We have Daydreams and Decisions. Yeah, for some reason, you're super up in the air about this offer. So for some of you, you could definitely have options. I did say that prior. Um, and or you could just be a little bit, you know, I don't, I guess you could say confused. You know what I'm feeling? Um, Let me just get the next card and I'll tell you and take the lead with the three of wands. So you have a choice here. It's going to be up to you. Um, some of you may turn your back on this offer. Some of you may decide to take it. Um, but with the Three of Wands coming out, this gives me a double dose of energy in a dual position. 
showing me that some of you are going to turn your back on this offer and some of you will take it. Now, um, I'm hearing something really interesting. Um, it feels down. It feels like a download. It feels like a channeled. Um, it may not resonate to everybody, but I feel like for some of you, you're a little bit confused by this person's offer. I feel like some of you are like, well, are you wanting to spend more time with me because you're just really attracted towards me? Or do you actually want to build something? Um, I feel like this could also be more or less for like single people. I'm getting this indication where you're kind of like, I almost feel, I don't know who I, I this, this is the sentence I'm hearing. I'm just going to say it out loud. I don't want to feel attracted to someone. So I'm not necessarily, I'm not necessarily sure why I'm hearing that, but I feel like some of you almost feel like when you are attracted to someone, it's kind of distracting for you. And it looks like you may be focused on something else here, maybe even someone else or like a business idea or family or yourself. It looks like you're focused on something. Um, and as this offer comes in, it's for some reason, it's just like, It's not that you don't want to feel feelings. I mean, yeah, that could also be a part of it. Um, but there's something about attraction. It's like you don't... <laughs> you don't want to feel into someone or something. I'm not I'm not sure. I, I feel like they're ready, but I'm not necessarily sure you're ready. It could be vice versa, okay? It could be vice versa, and I could be picking up on them. But this is a Leo reading, so I'm going to read it as is. But if it's backwards, it could be backwards. Don't, don't shun me. Don't shun the messenger. Um, but I'm definitely getting something here where someone's just like, yeah, um, you could be someone that may be okay for me. But I don't really feel like feeling attracted to someone right now. It's like the energy of attraction or being into someone or having someone give you butterflies. It's like you're really not into it right now. You feel like you can't afford it at this moment. So I feel like they're more ready for something than you are right now. Or they're more ready to raise the bar for this connection than you are. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa. You could be more ready than they are. But nonetheless, there's still an offer coming in from them that is going to cause you to feel like you have to decide. So that could be where your position, if this is vice versa, you could be like, well, are they only offering me something because they're super attracted or they do they really just want something with me? So I feel like it could be different for the for some of you and how you're resonating to this, but... The strongest energy I feel is your position in not wanting to take an offer too fast or feeling something out um, and not wanting to feel a certain type of feeling. You know, this is what I feel. I feel like for a lot of you, if this person gives off more committal energy, you may not feel as confused, but I feel like with recognition, attraction... They may be more on like the interest energy or the seemingly so like, do you just want to be intimate with me? Is that why you want to give me this offer? Or do you actually want to strengthen the bond between the two of us in a real, you know, emotional way as well? Because, you know, intimacy does strengthen bonds, but I hate to say it like that, but anybody can be intimate with anyone. It's it's like it is sacred, but it's not sacred to everybody. Sacred, sacral chakra, you know, I can get into that, but please. Oh, that I'll, I'll, I'll be into that for like an hour and you'll never get the reading. So, um <laughs> um yeah, you look up in the air. You look highly up in the air. Some of you just aren't, like I said, some of you resonate with the other way where you're just like, look, Miss Machise, I got stuff going on. I got things that I got to do for myself. I don't have time to hang out with this person this week. Um, some of you, that's your position. Let's see. Let's clarify this for Leo, please. Because the three of wands indicates for me that it's a 50-50. Some of you are going to turn your back on it. Some of you are going to take it. So let's see. Eight of cups, page of wands, ace of wands. 
double aces here. Some of you, there's definitely two people here. So there is a new path opening for you in your love life, whether you want to walk towards it or not. It's really up to you, but there it is, the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Um, your assumption here is, especially if you're single or this is a return or a current person or something like that, I definitely feel like your assumption is, well, this person only is making this offer because they want me to be attracted to them too, or they want more of my interest. Some of you are a little bit iffy on this, if this person is just attention seeking or interest seeking out of you, or if they actually are making real offers. And that is because there are still things that you are reconditioning about yourself with this eight of cups. So I definitely feel like for some of you, this could be a past versus new situation. Um, but let's clarify here. Spirit, this is for Leo. We have the Ace of Swords. Jeez. The Five of Wands. Yeah, and the Emperor. Yeah, you're super iffy. You're like, are they the one? Are they not the one? Is this offer real? Is it not real? I mean, there's the Five of Wands. Some of you definitely... I mean, now you have three aces. So if you got if you got options like that, then hey, no wonder why the seven of cups came out. No judgment here. I'm just saying, um, you have triple aces in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine card spread. I mean, that's a quarter of the energy that's coming in. Not even actually. That's like 30, 40 percent of it because offer is an ace. So you technically have four of them. So I feel like some of you could definitely be meeting somebody new at this moment as well. And there could be a slight iffiness in that set department. Um, but man, do you have offers coming your way? No wonder why offers is here. Um, but the, for some reason, you're kind of struggling with these offers. Let's clarify this again. Some of you, you're, you're looking for the one. Male or female, doesn't matter. And some of you could be confused and you're like, is this the one? I've been trying to manifest the one. I've been trying to manifest my wife or husband and here these people come. Which one is my wife or husband? You know, I could feel that for some of you. The Hierophant, geez, the Knight of Wands, yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune. Man, are you trying to like, your energy is so, um, um, I'm trying to figure out a good word for it. You're like, you're like the detector. You're like, if you could, you'd have a magnifying glass and you're like, hmm, are you them? And then you're like, huh, okay, are you that person? Um, so I feel like for some of you, if you are single, um, offers are definitely coming in. I feel like they could be from uh, multiple different types of energies and or this is just one full person. Um, but with the five of wands to the knight of wands here, it looks like there, if there's anybody around you, you are contemplating if they are player energies. If they are those F girls or F boys that just want to feel attention and attraction from somebody and then just never talk to you for a week or two months and then back again. So I get that. Um, but they, it looks like this offer is so strong that it could slightly trigger some sort of trust issues towards love. Because this person's ready for you, but I'm not 100% sure you're ready you know, there's a part of you that's ready for love, but I don't feel like there's a part of you that's ready to trust a person. That's the, that's the thing. Now, if you're in a relationship, this could be your vibes too. I mean, you may feel like your person only is nice or only is sweet when they want intimacy, but whenever it's your needs or desires, they're like 5,000 miles away. Um, that could be something that resonates for you too. And this person comes in with a bunch of offers this week and you're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So nonetheless, it looks like there could be definitely a, I don't want to say overload, but I definitely feel like it could be a little bit much for some of you. But the only reason why it feels like it's a little bit much is because I feel like there's a conditioning from other types of experiences with love that is creating a little bit of a subconscious unreadiness where like, your personality feels like you're ready for love, but your soul or your subconscious feels like there's still certain things that you need to heal or get over. And I don't necessarily feel like they're fully done in your energy. 
And that's why I feel like this offer could trigger it because I feel like this offer could be feeling a little bit big or, or like, I want to use the word. It could feel like a serious offer to where you're like, well, if I hang out with this person and something happens and there I go, I've fallen for them. It's over. Some of you are just scared to be with someone in the physical because you don't want to fall for someone. Some of you don't even want to be ready for love because you don't want to even handle what would happen after it. And like I said, you know, it's fine and dandy to protect yourself, but you also do protect yourself and block out love too. So when you close off your heart, you don't only block out getting hurt, but you do block off the love that could have came in. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and we have the Three of Pentacles. So it looks like, Leo, somebody's definitely going to try to work things out with you here, work together with you. I mean, this person's definitely going to try to show you or someone of these individuals. There it is, Three of Pentacles. I'm telling you, some of y'all definitely got options. Um, one of these individuals is definitely going to, or at least you're going to try to figure out who it is. So it's like you're either trying to figure out which one is your person or they're going to try to step up to make it view like they are your person. Now, I feel like your energy is super curious on if this person is just doing this out of attraction or out of like a real intention to be with you. Um, it's going to be different for all of you. Sorry. Um, your intuition is where you're going to have to be helped with that because I don't necessarily feel like this person has bad intentions I don't. I feel like they're into you. They're attracted towards you. They have an offer for you. And I feel like from your own discernment of experience, you'll be able to pick up on who it is out of these people that is your person to experience and or if you should experience this person or not. Um, whether again or just in general. But damn, do you have offers coming in. I mean, with aces, that's like a now energy too. So these offers could definitely come in. Um, you know, like when I say time is fluid. When you get an ace. Oh, well, you did get an ace on an ace here. This is more of like a now energy. So um, this definitely does look like it's going to take fruition for you this week. There are some readings where I see that there's some extra energy to it. And I'm like, eh, it could be more or less into the next week. But this one, no. Strong energy for a new person too with all the aces. But it doesn't have to be. It could just be that there's a lot of people around you or one specific person that's just coming in really serious and really heavy. But you definitely have a serious offer coming your way, Leo. You decide what to do with it. You could have serious offers, plural, and you decide who. So let's see. In terms of zodiac signs and the spread that could be around you or in your chart, you have Taurus, Aries. Yeah, Taurus and Aries. So let's look into the second half of this reading all the way from Aries to Pisces. We're going to look into each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards you for the week. Spirit, this is for Leo. Show me all the way from Aries to Pisces. Hello. Each is oh my gosh. What's going on with the cards today? Each zodiac sign's future actions towards Leo for the week, please. Thank you. All right, here we go. Aries, I'm so grateful for the spiritual lesson and the nine of pentacles. Some of you, there has been a separation or some distance here between you and Aries. They are grateful for what they have learned from you. With the nine of pentacles here, I do feel like they want your recognition or they want to be acknowledged by you, but they're not really going to do anything to get it. Um, they just want you to know their value and see their value as a whole. Um, they are definitely grateful for something that they have gone through with you, whether you two are still going through it together or not. They are definitely sitting in an energy of gratitude for you. Um, next up is Taurus. You speak to me through music and the six of wands. So you could be getting some um, attention from a Taurus this week. Um, some of you are going to receive something that you want from a Taurus this week as well. Doesn't necessarily have to be that it's an attention 
that it's attention, um, but definitely could be that you come to a win with a Taurus somehow. They are indicating that they that you speak to them through music, so there could be some sort of music energy that connects the two of you, or some sort of melodies or songs that you hear with them or in sign of them. Next up is Gemini. So many things remind me of you and the Eight of Cups. So it looks like you and Gemini are moving on. Um, or Gemini is trying to get over you. You are trying to get over them. As much as you two are trying to walk away from each other, it definitely looks like Gemini is getting reminded of you very frequently in their life. Um, but with the Eight of Cups, they're trying their best to move on. Next up is Cancer. You were the best thing in my life and the Queen of Pentacles. So it looks like Cancer is highly focused on their finance, career, and stability. They are indicating that you were the best thing that ever happened to them. With the Queen of Pentacles, your Cancer may be very focused this week on finance, but I do feel like they may try to be stable for this connection as well and try to show you that they are stable. Leo, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. And the Ace of Swords, new communication coming in from a Leo. Um... I don't necessarily feel like they're fully over you if you're connecting to a fellow Leo. It looks like they're going to say something if they have not already said something to you. It definitely looks like there's new communication coming in from a Leo that you two either had tension or full-on separation. It looks like they're going to say something if they have not already. Next up is Virgo. I look for you everywhere and the Three of Pentacles. So Virgo here reaching out. Um, definitely could be that your Virgo wants to compromise um, they want to be on the same page with you. Could finally be that you two have a compromising conversation and working things out. Others of you, you could just hear from a Virgo. Um, with the Three of Pentacles, they may want to get together with you, collaborate with you again, and or see if you two can work out, like I said. Um, but I look for you everywhere. There could be a common denominator between the two of you where they think they could run into you, whether at work, school, institution, somewhere that you two may have both been together. Uh, but they're definitely coming around here with some sort of information and reaching out to you. We have Libra. I remember every detail of that day and the moon. So Libra is definitely hiding their feelings pretty strongly here with the moon. They do not want to show you how they feel, what they feel. Um, Seven of Pentacles could be that they're contemplating their feelings with justice. So I feel like Libra is highly indecisive on their feelings. And I feel like they are procrastinating, making a decision about how they feel, yet they're reminiscing over you. So I feel like eventually a Libra is going to come in with a decision or wanting to make things right or um, just, you know, giving more, a sense of more balance to this connection instead of like more of a push and pull. Um, but it doesn't look like more or less towards the end of the week into next week with the clarifications there. All right, who's next? Scorpio. I replay our conversations over and over and the Ten of Cups. Some of you may live with a Scorpio or be in a commitment with a Scorpio. Um, they replay your two conversations very um, frequently. Ten of Pentacles, wow. Scorpio could be actually offering you commitment at this moment. And or if you were married to a Scorpio and there was a divorce, they definitely are reminiscing over this connection. You're either going into strong commitment with a Scorpio or coming out of it. It's one or the other. Next up is Sagittarius. I feel you even though we are apart and the Five of Cups. So could have been highly disappointed by a Sagittarius here or you let down a Sagittarius. They still feel your energy even though you two are apart. But there definitely looks like there's been some disappointment between the two of you. Six of Pentacles could have been a lack of balance um, and the Sun. So I feel like Sagittarius does want to have more equal give and take with you. I feel like they do want to see you in the physical. They do want to get together. They do want to see if things could look up, um, but they feel kind of pessimistic about it at the moment. Next up is a uh, Capricorn. You came closer than anyone and the chariot. So it could be that there's distance involved between you and Capricorn judgment and the page of cups. Um, yeah, I feel like you could be, be in a long-distance relationship with a Capricorn or they just live at a distance from you. Judgment to the Page of Cups. It looks like they're making a judgment call of a decision to either apologize or reach out to you. Could be like a friendly message or just wanting to be cordial or civil. But it definitely looks like a distant Capricorn is eventually going to come around. I did clarify twice in, so I would say more or less the end of the week into the new week. 
We have Aquarius. You and I were too young and the Seven of Wands. Could be feeling a lot of defensiveness from an Aquarius right now. They feel like either you two were too young or too immature when you two tried to be together. Eight of Wands. They could be very defensive through communication at this moment. Seven of Cups. And quite confusing in how they are approaching you if they decide to approach you at all. I kind of get an iffiness with this energy. I feel like for some of you, they're just being really defensive in communicating or they kind of just don't make any sense through communication. And Pisces, I bury myself in work to forget you and temperance. So it looks like Pisces is trying to protect, prioritize their peace at the moment. I feel like with temperance, they do want to make peace with you, but right now they're doing all that they can to forget and or not really acknowledge this connection. Very much King of Pentacles focusing on their money. There it is. Bury themselves in work. Three of Wands, Nine of Wands. So I feel like Pisces wants to heal with you. It just doesn't look like they want to initiate the healing. Um, but they want to. But they're not going to be the first one to do it, it looks like. So let's make sure everyone's out here for you, Leo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. Thank you for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Actually, now that I'm just seeing this, let's get you a good karma card for the week. You do have a daily that will go out later, but let's get you a good karma card one right now because I just decided to pick it up. So let's see what Spirit's idea for you to rack up good karma is. Praise a coworker or friend. That is your way to rack up some good karma this week here. Leo, uh, thank you for being here and for watching. I love you all so, so very much. I'll talk to you very soon. Have a wonderful week ahead. Bye now, Leo.